Hello, this is an introduction to the bark flower remedies. Over the last few years that I have been practicing these remedies, there have been a lot of basic questions about the remedies. So here we go. So bark flower remedies are about 80 years old in terms of the system itself. And these were the system was devised by Dr. Edward Bach back in the UK. How are these remedies formed? That's a basic question that I often get asked. Now, traditionally, these remedies were made by collecting. There, there are 38 different flowers from which these remedies are made. Traditionally, the remedies were collected by collecting dew drops which were accumulated overnight on these specific flowers. These drops would be collected and stored and those were used as remedies. The rationale being that the dew drops contain the vibration of the flowers and therefore they also have the healing essences that the flowers possess. Now of course it's not given the large scale commercial use of bark flower remedies, it's not possible to sustain just with the collection of dew drops. So, in the modern day, usually the practice when it comes to manufacturing bark flower remedies is that these 38 flowers are harvested and they are put into a vat of distilled water which is exposed to sunlight for a day. After a day, the flowers are taken out and the vibration of the flower that is uh, that's absorbed in the distilled water is used as the concentrate of the remedies. Now what you would find in most homeopathic stores that sell these remedies is a, not the concentrated form but a diluted form but still very potent. So these the con remedy concentrates are diluted in alcohol, medicinal alcohol and then sold for use. How is it that you can use this on a day to day basis? The remedies are very safe for internal uh, consumption, but you can also use it for external application in which, whichever area of the body that you would like to use them on. If you're using this for internal application, uh, ideally take a glass of water and put in a few drops of remedies and then consume the water. The amount of remedy or the quantum of remedy is not really as important as the frequency of the intake is. So if you want to heal faster with the bark flower remedies, try and make sure that you have the remedies as frequently as you can so that you get healed much faster. Another important thing to note when it comes to bark flower remedies is that it really helps if you're mindful of what's happening to you when you consume the remedies externally or internally. Bark flower remedies will invariably lead to a mental and an emotional shift. So please be aware of the thoughts that come up, the emotions that come up when you consume these remedies in any form and try and work with those emotions. Typically the thoughts and emotions that come up when you take these remedies are those that need healing, that need resolution. So do pay heed to it. If you're not able to practically go out and resolve it with somebody else, at least make a note of it, write it out, talk to yourself and work with the remedies. Of course, the remedies will work by themselves in the long run, but you will really help speeding up the process if you're able to consciously work with your mind and emotions as you consume these remedies. Thank you.